Big Stoddard Wolves, and today is Working Women Wednesdays. Yes, that was a little Aretha Franklin respect. Today is April 15th, 2020. Couple student shout outs for STEM. Big shout outs to Lulu, Madeline in fifth grade, Nori in third grade, and Sayu McGinn in fifth grade. Hey, these students have been sending me the questions. Um, they've been sending me pictures. Um, one student, Nori, she was excellent. She even got on her father, or maybe it was her mother's YouTube channel, to show it and to explain it like a newscast. So give those students a round of applause. Hey, keep those submissions coming, students. They look great. They make me all tingly and happy inside to know that you're engaged in this project. It is fun. Send those to me. Uh, moving right along. Hey, big shout outs to Henry Adams. He joined our Challenge 24 Club along with Sayu, Nori, and Bibi from yesterday's broadcast. Keep up the good work and keep those Challenge 24 answers coming. Challenge 24 for today. Problem 1, 13, 7, 10 and 14. I repeat, 13, 7, 10, and 14. Problem two is 23, 22, five, and five. I repeat, 23, 22, five, and five. Those are your Challenge 24 numbers for today. Our quote of the day, she believed she could, so she did. Ooh, that one is good. Let me repeat that. She believed she could, so she did. Hey, a lot of times I hear, um, especially at um, school that, oh, so-and-so boy said I couldn't do it because I was a girl. Oh, my Lanta, absolutely wrong. My saying is anything a boy can do, a, can, a girl can do just as equal or better. Let me say that again. Anything a boy can do, a girl can do, and possibly even better sometimes. So, shout out to our girls, girl power. Um, hey, our core value of the week, if you couldn't tell from our song is, yeah, that's right, a little respect. Hey, make sure that we are respecting our teachers while they're, um, while they're teaching in this distant learning, make sure we're respecting our parents first and foremost, because that's our teacher that's with us day in and day out. Um, hey, that goes along with the student tip of the day is to make sure that you're respecting your peers. There's a lot of things going on in these chat rooms and these posts. Students, if you don't want teachers to disable this from certain instructional time, please use your time wisely, okay? And be respectful to all people while instructional time is taking place. Very serious stuff. Um, parent tips, help to review goals of the week with your students. So as your students make these goals for themselves, Parents, check in to say, hey, how you doing? Or, um, are you close to reaching your goal? Um, is there anything I can do? Be that support system for your student in reaching that goal. And once they reach that goal, let's celebrate. Um, STEM activity for the week. If you don't remember, teachers, students, families, our Tiger Woods um, Foundation has given us a great, great resource in this design challenge. It is called Invent a Vehicle. Develop a new vehicle for transporting hazardous waste to a safe place on land. Okay? So, the supplies and materials, there's a list of them, but do you have to use all of them? No. Can you use some of them and be creative? Yes. Please do so. Also, make sure that you are thinking outside of the box, okay? Now, this vehicle is supposed to run on land and water, okay? If you have an alternate solution to this, 
Please be creative and do it. We already have one student do it. Um, I will post the exemplar in Teams. Um, actually, what I did was yesterday, or um, I think it was Monday, what I did was is I posted a student exemplar so we can kind of get those creative thinking and those creative ideas um, going, okay? So, if you have not seen it, I will post it again today. If you have any questions, parents or students, please go to Teams under the STEM channel on the left side. Ask me any questions you want there or email me personally. Okay, so uh, moving right along. Shout outs for the day is to Miss Brand in first grade. Huge shout out to Miss Brand. Hey, I recently found out that Miss Brand lives in the Glover Park neighborhood and she's been making distant, um, she's been making distant visits to her students. So she may be on a walk and um, she may be walking by a student's house. The student and the family may come out to greet her and they may chat for a little bit. Hey, I just thought this was so amazing and personable of Miss Brent. So huge shout out to Miss Brent. Great job. Um, hey, I heard that Mrs. Marquez and some students right now are discussing a spirit week. Hey, stay tuned for that. As I found out more information about the Spirit Week, it'll come straight to you so we can celebrate together what it looks like. Um, hey, there will be no broadcast tomorrow. I know. Womp, womp, womp. Hey, but there's no school for students, okay, in um, honor of Emancipation Day. So take this time to relax, do something fun, go on a bike ride on a trail, whatever it is. Relax, have some fun and take a break, students. All right, in closing today, I want everyone to have a Wacky Wednesday. Go out and do something wacky. <clears throat> Excuse me, go out and do something wacky. As you can see, the sun is shining through here on McCann Studios. Get outside today if you can, but make sure Proper distance, six feet, as they say. Um, so, hey, this is Mr. McCants signing off from McCants Studios. Have a great day on purpose and show a little bit of respect.